What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and today once again I have another tutorial for you guys. Believe it or not, once again we're going to talk about Travis Scott. I got a lot of requests from you guys asking me to recreate this look right here. It's the one where he's standing in front of that uh, G-Wagon in LA I suppose and the sun is hitting really hard and I want to recreate this look today using your smartphone and the free Lightroom app only. And as always, I printed a preset to exactly this new Travis Scott inspired look. It's on my website, the link is under this video, and it's in that all presets pack along with over 100 presets that you could just easily paste to every one of your pictures. Most of you probably already have the all presets pack, so it's online now. Feel free to download it and check it out. For the rest of you guys, I really recommend that pack because every time I'm doing new presets, new videos, they're automatically updated to the pack. So once you have the all presets, pack you don't have to buy it again you will be having free presets on a weekly basis and I think it's a pretty good deal make sure to check it out link is under this video and of course if you haven't already also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell to not miss out on my future tutorials and just keep this channel going keep it growing and um, if there's anything else you need from me any questions that you have um, problems, new requests for videos, whatever, feel free to DM me on Instagram, at Steven Womack is my handle. I'm always open for conversation and I'm really excited to hear from you guys. Um, so please do that and I've said enough now, let's jump right into this tutorial. You will need once again your smartphone of course, I want you to open up your picture in the free Lightroom app. The picture should be taken um, at noon, really hard sunlight hitting from the top. So that's the picture that we want. And then we want to open it in the free Lightroom app. Now I've chosen this picture right here of Huevo because it comes super close to that setting. Also really hard light hitting him. He's in front of a black car. We see a little bit of sky in the background. So I thought this was uh, the perfect base. Now the first thing we want to do of course is go to light right here and then hit curve on the upper right side. And I want you to recreate this curve exactly as it is right here. So just try and create a little bump in the middle right there and then on the right upper side we want to pull down the highlights a little bit and um, once you've recreated this curve as it is right here you can also take a screenshot and just take your time to copy it as exact as you can and um, once you've done that we are done and we want to boost up the exposure a little bit to zero plus zero point four four eight right here and then we want to pull down the contrast a little bit to negative 11 then we want to pull down the highlights to negative 27 and also the shadows we want to pull them down a little bit to negative 24 the whites we want to pull down as well to negative 33 right here and the blacks as well down to negative 20 Seven. And then we're done with the light. We go over to the color and here I just want you to boost up the temperature to plus 21 and boost up the tint as well to plus 8 and the vibrance up to plus 32 and pull down the saturation all the way to negative 47 right here. Then we scroll up and hit the color mix. Now for the red tones on the left side, we just want to boost up the saturation a little bit to plus 18. Then we go to the orange tones, same thing. We want to boost up the saturation to plus 20, bring those skin tones back, and now pull down the luminance to negative 54, um, just to darken those skin tones again. Then the yellow tones, we, we don't want to change anything for the green tones as well. The aqua tones, however, we want to pull down the saturation a little bit to negative 30 and uh, move on to the blue tones here we want to pull down the hue to negative 14 to that aqua area boost up the saturation to 8 right here and boost up the luminance all the way to plus 50 then for the purple tones we just want to pull down the saturation a little bit to negative 43 and the pink tones we want to pull down the saturation to negative 57 then we are done here. We go over to the effects tab here now. Um, we want to boost up the texture a lot all the way to plus 75 in this case. 
and pull down the clarity to negative 15 to soften it out a little bit. Then we want to dehaze to plus 16 right here. And now of course we wanna add some grain. Let's say 31 is perfect. Then we scroll up, hit the split toning, and this is where we're gonna do the final color touch once again. Now for the highlights, we want to stay in that red area around a hue of 13 is perfect and a saturation of 17. So it's 14 and 17. And then for the shadows, we wanna pull over to a hue of around 160 and a really slight saturation of nine or 10 is perfect. So it's 162 and 10, that is perfect. And then we're done here. And that is it guys, here's a little before and after, and I think we came super close to that real Travis Scott inspired look. Once again, I'm thinking he used a film camera, maybe a medium format, 120 um, millimeter or 35 um, millimeter film camera, but definitely a film camera. And I think we came super close using our smartphone and the free Lightroom app only. So I'm happy with this result. I hope you guys are too. And if there's any trouble following along to the tutorial or whatever, I've also created a preset on exactly this look. It's on my website, link is under this video. And it's in that all presets pack, along with over 100 presets that you can just easily paste to every one of your pictures to make them look great, make them look more artistic. Um, I really recommend that. And of course, if you haven't already, also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to not miss out on any of my future tutorials. And if there's anything you need from me or you have any new ideas for a new video that I could do, um, I'm always open for your requests. Just DM me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack is my handle, and I'm really excited to hear from you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was good content for you guys. And of course, I hope to see you in my next tutorial again. Um, till then, stay healthy, stay creative, peace.